turn to somebody and say, welcome to the assembly of the empowered. Say to another person, welcome to the assembly of the empowered. Now say this one to yourself, I have received power. I am not powerless. My life is a declaration that I have been with Jesus. Say to another person, my life is a declaration that I have been with Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's see Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Chapter 1, verse 8. Give me an amplified classic if you have it. Okay. Let's read it together. But you shall receive power, ability, efficiency, and might when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all Judea and Samaria and to the ends, the very bounds of the earth. Hallelujah. Now, I rewrote it because today my assignment is to come and remind this house that you have received power. That verse says, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Today, God asked me to tell you that you have received power. Because the Holy Spirit has come upon you. It does not matter what you felt, whether you felt anything or not. My interest in that verse is not the witnesses part. God helping us in the coming weeks, we may look into that. Today, God wants you to walk away from church today knowing that I have received what? You have received power. Something happened to you last week something has been happening to your spirit this season and it's not a new thing i was asked to come and say today i was just asked to come and remind you that you've received ability you have received efficiency you have capability that is stored in you and is waiting for exploration you are no longer powerless you cannot walk through life as a powerless creature you cannot see things and withdraw from it because you are not ordained your name is not reverend doctor prophet and professor and then they now add the remaining part you cannot shy away from the things in your family because you have not knelt down and a million people put their hands on the on your head god wants you to walk away today step into your life as the empowered i was sleeping on thursday morning was it thursday morning i heard assembly of the empowered when i was walking down here on sunday as i sat down there say when you go back next week tell them they have received power if that's everything you hear today i would have done my assignment you are no longer powerless you are no longer empty it doesn't matter if you did not feel anything it doesn't matter if you that you did not fall you know you are not powerless you have received power that's the first thing i was asked to tell you the second thing was yes you've received power but no do not settle what has come upon you needs engagement fire does not stoke itself fire needs fuel you have received power the goal is not to feel the goosebumps you felt the goal is not to to feel the warmth you felt during prayer the goal is not even to have clear visions and dreams if that has already started happening the goal is to become like christ the goal is to be one that god can deploy and you walk into a territory and that environment receives the information that the christ in the person of a keminatum sam has arrived the goal is Christ. You have received power, but do not settle. Engage that power. Put it to work. The Holy Spirit is going to begin to give you nudgings. You could walk on the road and it will say, talk to that person. Don't hold back. That's how to engage it. Obedience. Apart from Peter, no other disciple will ever know they are dead and gone, that they could walk on water. 
why when the opportunity presented itself for them to put to test the power they had received by being with Jesus only one man stepped out he said call me to come in with you he said come he did not say Peter come he said come if John wanted to he would have stepped out and only Peter stepped out only Peter found out that in him lay the ability to walk on water you will not know what you have received until you stop shying away from the things the Holy Spirit will be drawing you to this house is being prepared for a great outpouring a great revival a great awakening God is preparing you to send you to churches He's preparing you to send you to the world he will send some of us to churches for revival and send on some of us to the to the world for awakening you have received power but the goal was not the goosebumps or your clear visions or your clear prophecy the goal is Christ and the way to get there is to engage it engage the Holy Spirit walk in obedience as he talks to you pray for that person go and pray talk to that person go and talk sit there sit because you will begin to hear don't doubt it and don't worry about praying for somebody and they don't wake up is it in your name when you are done, is it in the name of Jesus? If it does not, don't wake up. How is that my problem? But you do your own. You see somebody sick and the Holy Spirit places it in your heart. Do you know sometimes you don't even need to wait to hear? Because you are an ambassador. Father said last week, God, the whole of last week was not for God to put bread and, and butter on our table. It was for God to raise deputies for himself. For God to raise ambassadors for himself. And God is asking me to tell you this week that you have received power. So sometimes you don't even need to wait for some special feeling. You see something and you just donate to yourself. Like I'm here, I, I'm, I'm a token of God on earth. In the name of Jesus, wake up. If he wakes up, I've prayed for three dead people so far. They've not woken up. I don't feel bad. I'll pray for another if I see. I did not say in the name of Inyene Patrick Grace, stand up. So if I say in the name of Jesus, you did not stand up. Well, I'll go back and just keep praying that a day will come. I'll say in the name of Jesus, you stand up. But I will not shy away from it next time. You have received power but the goal is not that goosebumps you felt it's not the dreams you're now having it's not even the prophecy you can now say it's not the gift is Christ the, the foundation of this call the whole arrangement of this call by heaven is to raise men and women who will walk the streets of the earth as the Christ on earth and God, your father, says, I have given you power. Your duty, your assignment is to begin to engage that power. Feed that fire. Nurture that fire. Engage it until it becomes a mighty, hotter, bigger, greater flame. That you don't need to say much, like Paul the Apostles, articles from you, your own shadow. Paul the Apostle, rather, Peter, your own shadow can begin to do things and you are not even aware. It is my deepest conviction that I grow to the point that I don't need to come, I don't need to be aware of who is in the congregation or who is there, who is in their house. I just need to walk past. And God will do what God will do because I'm not interested in the glory. I just want to be the ambassador. God wants ambassadors, he wants deputies, he wants representatives, he wants personal assistants, he wants men that can walk into situations and situations and answer to them as they answer to Christ. He wants to literally raise the Christ on earth and he says, I have given you power. You engage it and watch how it will become a mighty well watch how it will become a mighty ocean so i'm inviting this house as we rise to affirm the word of god together this morning let's grow together don't shy away from your god ordained responsibilities don't don't walk away no matter how dangerous or how uncertain the thing is go and pray if he says pray you are not praying in your name in the name of jesus pray don't doubt don't think much about it just look for opportunities to dispense that which you have received because you know what the only way you are going to know and see the evidence is that you have received power is in that obedience until you have prayed for the sick you will not know that there is a healing virtue in you until you talk to somebody that has been written off by the environment as 
as careless as this one has committed too much sin, you will never know that you can lead the lost to God. Or you, until you talk to somebody that is oppressed, until you talk to your classmates that is missing script and pray with the person and they find their script, you will, ne- you will not know the virtues you carry. So seek opportunities to dispense heaven because you have received power. Say with me, I have received power. I am not powerless. I am empowered to manifest as a being of wonder. I have received power. I am not powerless. I am well able to represent God to the sick, the lost, and the oppressed. I will not shy away from my God-ordained responsibilities. My life is a declaration that I have been with Jesus. I am empowered to be a revelation of God. In the world, I am enabled to walk in the miraculous. Because as you say, it, you, the word is becoming flesh in you. I am enabled to walk in the miraculous. I carry the evidence and power of God in my life. I am seized with power to do the will of the master. Great wonders and miracles are flowing through my life. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I am empowered to function as God's vessel of transformation. My hands are His channels of mercy. My mouth is His portal of wisdom. I am clothed with the virtues of God. I am anointed commissioned to represent God everywhere I go. I am empowered by God for God. I am full of faith and power. I am anointed to do what has never been done. The fire of the Lord burns in me. I am quickened from the inside out. I do what God does in every situation I find myself. I will move as God moves me. The Holy Spirit lives in me, giving my life a different outcome. Light, understanding, and excellent wisdom are found in me. My life is a declaration of the glory of God. Open your mouth and keep speaking what this empowerment means to you. Say, I am empowered to do the impossible. I am invested with supernatural power. I am stamped with divine authority. When I speak, things happen. My voice is recognized. My life is a declaration of the might of God. My life is a declaration that I have been with Jesus. My life is a declaration of the praise of God. My life is a declaration of the majesty of God. I bear the results of God in my life. Even even if you have nothing else to say, keep announcing to yourself, I am empowered by God for God because it is now expected that you walk in the miraculous. Why? Your father says, I have given you power. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. I am anointed and commissioned to encourage the poor. I am anointed to help the brokenhearted. I am anointed to decree the release of captives. I'm anointed to bring freedom to prisoners. I do what God does in every situation. I stand as the prince of God over my territory. I do what he does in my home. I embrace all that God has made me to be. I am empowered by God for God. 